good morning welcome back to my channel and i recently just got a big purchase i just got the breville barista express and let me tell you i was so excited look my hair is crazy because i've just been trying to figure this machine out for like the whole weekend and i finally got it right and then I got a good extraction and everything and then the next day I go to make a coffee and it was like bad Oh, espresso was even coming out of the machine. So I'm over here messing with it I have people telling me one thing people telling me another so It's just really hard because I don't know. I guess all the machines are different um, Because people use different coffee beans people have different like when they tamp and Stuff like that. So there's a lot of things that could go wrong <laughs> when you're making an espresso. And I got it and I had it going real good. And then, I don't know, it just it just stopped working for me, the settings that I had it on. Uh, when I first got the machine, I was using the Lavazza beans. I got them from Amazon, the super creme ones. They're really good beans. But a lot of people are telling me that is the reason why I have inconsistency with my espresso because of the beans aren't fresh. So I was like, okay, I, I'm almost gone through my whole bag of beans trying to figure this machine out. So I had my mom bring me some fresh beans. But here's the thing. The settings and stuff, they're all different. So now I have to try and figure out this one. I was just like, you know what, I'm done. I am just going to reset it to a 5, the inner grinder. The outer one, I set it to a 5. And the first shot I did was amazing. It was so good. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to get my phone out. I'm going to make my coffee. And I went to pull that shot and... It was a good shot. It was good, but but it wasn't long enough. Like, I think it was only like 11 seconds, and that's like way too fast. So I guess I'm going to have to slow it down, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get my camera out because I know other people have had this problem, and I know that I'm not the only one, and I'm not going to be the only one. Like, if you get the machine, most likely you're going to run into these problems as well. And... It's just unfortunate. Like, honestly, I'm like, I'm about to just pop in my capsule for my Nespresso because I just want a coffee. Like, but I'm like, no, I want to figure this machine out. I bought this machine. I want to learn. I have just been struggling. Um, This machine is really kicking my ass and I just, uh, I just want a coffee. I want to show you guys. Maybe you guys can help me in the comments or let me let me just show you let me just show you guys here is my machine i have it right here and my desk is literally a mess because i have been trying to figure this machine out so don't even like worry about that it's a mess yeah so i made this coffee right here and i had made an espresso shot it came out good and then i made this one and like i'm just like Ugh. i don't think i'm gonna post that but, I mean, it's okay. It's good. It's good. It's not nasty. I'm just, like, I'm defeated. That is, like, the word. I am so defeated. My scale came in. I just got this scale from Amazon. So, let's turn her on. It even came with, like, a little this. But I don't even know what that's for. This is how it looks. My scale has a timer on it. That way, I don't have to have my phone out because I'm making... A video I can't time it and make a video and do all that stuff I have my grind size set to a5 and I need a faster extraction because it was too slow and then I have my inner one to a5 so five and I had it at a five it pulled a good shot and then the second one was horrible so I'm gonna see what a four does all right so I got my scale right here I'm gonna weigh the beans. This is like annoying. Okay. So I'm gonna put it up here. So the coffee's not bad. It's not nasty. But, um, okay, so I'm gonna use this glass to weigh my beans. I'm gonna zero out the scale. I'm using these beans that my mom got me, they're fresh. They're from a coffee stand here in Washington. 
We're going to measure out these beans to 18 grams. 18 grams of beans. That's okay. Take out a little bit more. <laughs> Let me see. Two more beans. Oh, 18.1. Let's see if we take out one more bean one. Okay, 18. There we go. Now I'm going to put my beans in the hopper. Put the lid on. Black towel over here. Put this in here just to warm it up. So I have this dial all the way open. That's what they said to do. Had this in here warming up. Just going to wipe it off. Dry it a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put this in here. Hopefully the shot comes out good. I have it set to double. And here we go. I like to do this too, to like even it out. Okay, now I'm going to stop it because I want to make sure these beans are evenly distributed. And see how it's like a little clumpy? Maybe I need to get that. It's just like a tool that evens it out. Okay. Again, give it a little tappy tap. Honestly, think 18 is a little too much, but we'll see. So I'm just going to tap it, tap it, tap it. And then you can even like, I'm going to tap it. Tapped it down on the table, and this is what we got. That's all the beans. This is how we are looking. I'm going to tamp it. Alright, we got her tamped. And I'm going to use this to even out the beans. See how it takes a lot off? I don't know if it's even supposed to be like that. I feel like I'm wasting beans. Let me know, you guys. Not put any pressure. Just polish the top. And there we have her. Beautiful. She looks amazing. This looks like it's going to be an amazing cup of coffee. Not for Amber. Okay. Put the Porta filter locked and loaded. We are going to turn our scale on. Okay. I'm going to put it under. I don't know why it does that. I don't know if it's because it's like not a flat surface. Put my shot glass on there. I'm going to turn this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to zero it out again because the shot glass is on there. I don't know why it does that. Hopefully this works. And I'm going to see why is it doing that. That. We go. I'm gonna hit the start when uh, the espresso is gonna come out. That looks like a good shot. Honestly, that looks delicious. Why can't it do that? That looks so good. Okay, stop. See, that's. 13 seconds with 54 looks delicious though i'm getting there you guys i am getting there Oh my god, the timer didn't even start. That looks like a good shot though, honestly. I think I finally got it. Look at that, you guys. Wow, that looks amazing. Oh yeah. Yep, 
And plus, I started the timer a little late. So that probably would have been like 23. Okay, I finally figured it out. Added that last espresso shot to some oat milk and some caramel and um, chocolate chip cookie dough just because that is my favorite syrup right now. And I know if the coffee is like good or not because like I love that syrup and I've been using it for a long time. So it came out so good. The espresso shot didn't smell burnt or anything like that. It was really um, flavorful. It's smooth while like you drink it. It's not like you drink it and you have this like super strong coffee taste. That's how I was getting with the other one. So I have this one dialed in for these beans. And hopefully <laughs> when I get another type of bean, it won't be as hard for me to figure out and dial it in. But I feel like the scale really did help because now I know I am getting the right amount of espresso in the right amount of time. If you just got your bubble, I would suggest getting a scale. A scale that fits on the espresso machine. Get yourself a scale. I will leave the scale that I have linked down in my Amazon storefront. Finally, I was getting defeated. And if I didn't figure this out today, I would have been like, you know what? I'm done. I am done. I'm just going to go back to my espresso machine because like... It's stressful. It's stressful and you waste a lot of coffee, but trust me, keep trying and keep dialing it in and you will eventually get it. Really smooth, honestly. It's so good. I am like hyped up on coffee. Speaking of Nespresso, I have a Nespresso order that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm still going to be using my Nespresso machine. I use it to make my husband's coffee in the morning. All right, let me show you the holiday collection. They came out with, uh, I believe, three new pots. I know one was a raspberry, but I'm not really into raspberry flavored coffees. Um, and I chose to get other flavors and something else. And let me just tell you, the holiday packaging is so freaking cute. I love it. Of course, I had to get the peppermint pinwheel. I didn't try it last year, so this year we are going to be trying it. I heard that this one is a hit or miss, so... Yep, and this one is for a 7.77 fluid ounces, so it's a bigger... Um, cup of coffee so for some hot coffee this one would be good I want to taste test this one for you guys not right now because I've already had too much coffee with the espresso machine and oh my gosh you guys look how freaking cute this is it's like a dark blue with some gold it is a double espresso and I'm all about the double espressos so this is what it is it is a fruity and cereal notes double espresso and it's a level six so we are going to try this and the last thing that i got i didn't get this last year and i decided to get it this year because we're done like an advent 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 calendar and i wanted to do the espresso's calendar last year so this year i was like you know what i'm gonna get it this is what it looks like so cute I love the burgundy and the gold again. Beautiful, beautiful color scheme. So I think it's 24 days. This side is actually like more of a red, not burgundy. Wait, I like the burgundy, but. And it's like, oh, it is burgundy on the inside, just the top. It's like a little present. So cute. So we're gonna open it up. And I believe it just opens like this. That is so cool. And then I think this side opens as well. So it just opens all up like that. And then we got the days on here. And they're real random. Like one is on here, two is on a different, two is over here, and then three is back over there. And then we got 24. So 24 days. I think there's like a mug in there. Don't quote me on that. I am not getting rid of my Nespresso machine. A lot of people have been asking me that. No, I'm not going to get rid of it. I love, 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 love the Nespresso machine. My favorite machine ever. Super freaking easy. 
throw the pot in like if you guys are just looking for an easy morning espresso double espresso shot throw it in you don't want to deal with the the grinds the tamping the scaling the um, dialing in the machine I would suggest getting the Nespresso. The Espresso shots are always good. I never had a problem with it ever. And the Espresso is just really good. And this is the sample one that I got in the box. It's um, Bianco Doppio and Bianco um, Piccolo, which I've already tried these pods. They're good. I like them. Um, this one's a single and a double Espresso shot, but my all time favorite has to be double special Chiaro. Comment down below your favorite holiday drink. That way I can make it and show you guys how to make it. So I already got some new syrups. Actually, I got uh, peppermint. I got pistachio. And I got a toffee nut because you guys have been asking for a toffee nut. And I know that's like one of Starbucks like drinks is like the toffee nut. So I got those flavors. If you guys have any suggestions down below let me know any things i should buy for the machine to make my life easier let me know please because your girl was struggling and your girl was gonna give up and yeah but that's it for the coffee stuff that i have right now i need to